So in this screen cam, we're going to again look at one of the questions. This one's uh, question six from seminar sheet two. Okay. What we're going to try and do inside this this circuit is design the feedback feedback uh, bias conditions for this circuit. So let's label the schematic diagram. I often see things in text like this, but it's difficult until you actually get it on the circuit to know what's happening. 12 volts is our supply voltage. Okay. VCE, the voltage across here, is 6 volts. Okay. That's this potential coming up here. Sometimes you might see the value VC, not VCE. So that's the absolute voltage of the collector. In this case, we're talking about collector emitter voltage. The amount of current flowing in the collector, IC, is said to be 4 milliamps. Okay? 4 times 10 to the minus 3. VBE is said to be 0 0.7 volts. Okay? RU of beta for the circuit is 200. Okay? We have got some other parameters as well, such as IS, and early voltage, and VT. So, question is, where do you start? You have to start with Kirchhoff's voltage loop for this circuit, okay? So if we start at the top of the tree, we start here. We then need to know what volt drop is across RC. We can be accurate, or can we can be slightly less accurate. Sometimes you have to read the question. The current flowing through RC is a total of IC plus this current down here, IB, which means we've got IC plus IB times RC. Okay? We get to this node, we have no equation for VCE, but we do have an equation for this term here. So now we know that IB is flowing through RB. Okay? And then we have VB. So our Kirchhoff's voltage loop will be this. VCC minus IC plus IB RC plus IB RB plus VB Okay, and I made a mistake here because these are minuses. My um, Wacom tablets doing strange things with these things. These are all minuses, okay? So you start off with 12 volts, subtract the volt drop across the collector load resistance, we subtract the volt drop across the base resistance, and then we have VBA. Okay, so that's where we stop from. Often you're going to be told as well to put these all in terms of one value, one type of current flow. Or so it could be you express everything in terms of IC, okay? In which case we would rewrite this expression. So we would say 0 equals VCC minus, um, here we've got IC and we've got IB. So if we put that into a, a straightforward term, we've got 1 plus beta over beta. Okay, IC. That's the scaling quantity. Okay, you've got IC is the beta over beta. And IB is the 1 over beta. Minus over here, we have IC over beta RB minus VBE. Okay. Oh, my pen tablet's doing the same things. Don't know why to do that. I apologize. So, there's our KVL. We now want to rearrange the expression and simplify, which is the usual uh, re usual remit. We will take um, VCC to one side of the expression. We will take VBE to the opposite side of the expression. Okay, and that will equal. We collect on terms of IC now. We'll end up with RC plus RC over beta. Plus RB over beta. A few big jumps there, but that should make a bit of sense. If we divide through both sides by beta, uh, sorry, if we multiply both sides by beta, we'll get rid of these two betas on the on the denominator here. We'll put a beta on the top, which makes it a little bit more simple. 
So we have to multiply this side by beta as well. Okay, so we've got VBE, uh, VCC minus VBE is equal to IC. Let's carry the beta into this bracket. We have beta RC plus RC plus RB. Okay, we're really looking for IC as our expression. So we end up dividing um, this bracketed term over here, all of this lot, and we'll do the same over there. So we've now got an expression that says IC is equal to beta VCC minus VBE, okay, all divided by beta RC plus RC plus RB. And that's quite straightforward for us. Okay, so we've written out some equations. What we really want to do now is we want to establish what the component values are everywhere. So we want, I'm going to start off here with RC. Okay. The volt drop across RC is equal to VCC on one side, and on the other side, we know it's the value VCE. Okay. So that's the volt drop across RC. Okay. What's the current flowing in RC? Well, we can say that RC, or IRC, the current in RC, is equal to IC plus IB. Depends on the value of beta. Do we, the question you would ask yourself is, do we forget the value of IB? Okay. And the question whether you actually get rid of it or not. Let's make our life easy. Let's get rid of IB. Therefore, we can say an approximation would be RC is approximately equal to VCC minus VCE all divided by IC and that equals 12 minus 6 divided by 4 milliamps okay which equals 1.5k okay there's our final solution Obviously, we forgot IB, therefore this could be a starting point. Okay? It could be a starting point for our real value, which would probably be a little bit lower than that. But it's a good start. Now let's just have a look at RB. We want to find out and calculate the value of RB now. RB is probably a little bit more complicated, but that's okay. we're going to have to do is find uh, an, an equation that we've got for our value of RB okay or we can use the one that we calculated on on the first um, page here let's start again let's just find out what the potential is at this point here and the potential here so we need to know VC the absolute collector voltage we already know that it's a VCE so let's calculate RB so the volt drop across RB is equal to VCE minus VBE and the current flowing in RB is equal to IB which is equal to IC over beta okay so let's just put the numbers in for that particular expression uh, we can now say RB is basically equal to 6 volts minus 0 0.7 VBE all divided by the current flowing in this case it's 4 milliamps okay divided by our value of beta which was 200 in our initial design okay and that gives us a numerical value 331 
250. Okay, now we also have to remember as well that's also a starting point. It's not going to be accurate, it's going to be roughly okay. So we've got 